ACLU says it shouldn't be against the law to ask for help. Why they believe that panhandling ordinances are unconstitutional. That story tonight on Channel 13. We're joining you from a different vantage point than we did at 4 o'clock. What has changed during that time is that the entire attic of Building 7 is now gone. Here from the towing company that removed most of the cars that were involved in that 50 car pile up near Ames. And we speak with a woman who was involved in the wreck. Hearing her describe what she went through and what it was like is pretty amazing. The president of NARAL and candidates for the Iowa House make their case as to why Iowa is ground zero in the battle over abortion. The law does provide some exceptions in certain cases of rape, incest, or if the mother's life is at risk. Iowans for Life, though, opposes those exceptions and wants the abortion ban to go even further. And it was a very big day for Senate Republicans here at the state capitol. A lot of handshaking, a lot of smiles on the faces of Republicans as they pass these two uh, big pieces of legislation. This is the dreaded drain at 47th and Holcomb. People who live in this area are sick and tired of their homes being flooded. What they have to say to the city and how the city responds. And the chief of police says this is all about making certain that public safety responders have the most information to take the quickest steps possible to react properly to the threat. Dan, just a sign of the times. We take a first hand look at some of the damage the storm did in rural Warren County and hear from the people who lost power. And they shared with us their own personal security footage, which captured this crash as it happened. And here is that video. Those in the cycling community are sounding the alarm about bike thefts. How easy it is to steal a bike and what you can do to protect your bike from thieves. We now know that weapon was a knife today at a press conference here at the Boone Police Department. The police chief played a video for us. There are two competing visions as to what should happen to a key piece of real estate in the downtown area. What Hubble wants to do, what the feds want to do, and how it could impact the city. Fire officials rescue a motorcyclist from being trapped underneath an SUV after that motorcyclist was hit and dragged some 300 feet. We speak with a woman who saw and heard the accident. Molly Tibbetts, 20 years old, last seen on July 18th around 7.30 at night. She had gone jogging around the community of Brooklyn where she's from. She had been uh, staying at the home of her boyfriend, Dalton Jack, and was dog sitting for him. Of course, she did not respond to his messages. She did not show up for work the next day. She would have been a junior at the University of Iowa starting this year, in fact, beginning this week. So this, this whole tragic, mysterious disappearance that happened uh, over a month ago has really just captured the attention of uh, the whole nation, really. And um, hopefully today we can finally get some answers as to what exactly happened.